Hi guys, this is the Drummer1242 from the Digital Divinity. Uh, just today, quick tutorial on um, decals. Um, whether you've used them or not yet, uh, I've started on a new little project, just a quick multiplayer map. Um, and I'm now to the point where I'm starting to make it look a bit more interesting using decals and uh, various things like that. Um, just as a uh, quick tutorial, I'll show you how to do it with this one. Uh, CG textures is a great one. If you just uh, search masked like I have, you can see all the different varieties and there's pages and pages. Um, okay, is a uh, all you want to download is uh, this and then this here. Um, this is like your main texture and this is the uh, opacity mask. Most textures on your, I'll be honest, don't come with this. It's literally just the picture. So all I'm going to download is this, and I'm going to show you how to make your own opacity um, if your texture doesn't come with it. What you do is in Photoshop, if I, I assume you have that. Um, in other programs, there's probably another workaround for it, but um, I've only ever really used Photoshop. So, right, uh, all you do is open it up, um, Control Left click it, so it selects anything that's got anything bar transparency. Go to channels, and then click this button down here. This adds an alpha channel. Okay, now that that's it there. But uh, on your RGB channel, it still looks like this. So what you've got to do is then press Control A for select all, and then copy it. Go into your RGB channel and paste it, and then your layer looks like that. Then, so then all you have to do, because uh, it overlays like that perfectly uh, is save it right um, next thing is to enter UDK and import it uh, here's a couple of decals I've got at the minute um, example one is here on the wall I've just got this little movable one just sort of stops it looking so dull and boring um, I'll be showing my map in my next video. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to create a new decal material and uh, give it a name that you'll know it by. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to drag them in. So, your damaged wall and your damage wall opacity. One thing I failed to mention because you almost probably know already but if not your dimension size here it's got to be what's called a power of two. Um, to quickly set, uh, sum that up pretty much go up pin 32, 64, uh, 128, 256, uh, 512, 1024 whatever uh, and it's got to be one of them by one of them otherwise UK doesn't like it very much and or it'll either give you a warning uh, to say it can't make any uh, MIP maps or it'll just say failed okay so here's my uh, texture and opacity texture all you need to do is drag that one in and this one in Okay. Uh, bring your main texture to the diffuse, as you normally would with any texture, and then you bring the text, uh, the opacity, to opacity. Uh, at the minute, it's greyed out because uh, what you need to do is you need to come down here and change the blend mode to translucent, and this will change the black into transparency like that. So, like that. Okay. Save that. Okay. Once that's done, um, I'd recommend saving your package. If it's a new package, obviously go through all that part. Uh, save it somewhere sensible. Okay. Um. By the way, if any of you get stuck at any point in this or I don't elaborate on things enough, um, just leave a comment and I don't mind doing another video or just messaging you back privately or anything like that. Okay, so the next part is to 
get your decal material and drag it where you want it. Okay. Um, this is the size it's come out of. Obviously, you change it to whatever size you want. Um, so if I size that up. Right. In case you don't know how decals work, it's literally a projection. Um, like that. It's a, a 2D projection straight onto any object. Um, this box is its distance, so if I pull that off, look. Um, you can also change the rotation of it so it goes across multiple objects. Once it hits there, it kind of comes out like that. Uh, whereas if I rotate it, it comes out a bit better like that. Okay. Uh, decals are very useful just to stop things looking boring. Like this is sort of the same brick all the way along, so it gets kind of old pretty quick. Uh, if anyone can think of anything you sort of want to know how to do, um, I haven't been doing videos for a while uh, due to college and that and life. Um, I'm now going to be getting back into it and doing more. So if anyone has any ideas of what I should sort of do, then that'd be great if you can just sort of say what you're after. But yeah, decals can be changed to any size to match the environment. So obviously you can use it in multiple different places and obviously size it up and down so it looks different and no one will know. Um, yeah, so there we are. Looks a bit more broken up. These kind of decals are my favourite where it just sort of makes it look a bit more dirty, just gives it a bit more. Um, I'll be giving an overview of this map in the next video, which I'll probably do tonight. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, that's my tutorial on how to import a decal. Um, yeah, if you, can, if you want any tutorials and anything else, uh, just let me know. Alright, comment, rate, subscribe. All right. Cheers.